When choosing a new smartphone, most of the people want to balance between quality and price. Nokia is back to the market. And many people like their phones because of the affordability and the good hardware which makes them rival to other big brands. Nowadays, flagship smartphones are getting more and more expensive, as you know, like the price for $600 for a smartphone becomes normal. But some people, if you're not super picky, you would be probably very goodly satisfied with a phone that has amazing uh, hardware and pretty good camera and very much features for far lesser amount than $600. This is pretty decent phone and this is Nokia 5.1. You can see it nicely. I will show you the box. In my opinion this phone is beautiful, luxury looking with excellent tech parameters. Let's look at it. First the box, in the box, you can see normal phone box, let's see what we can find in the box. You have USB cable, hands-free stereo headphones, something that we don't use since we have so better technology nowadays, but you still get happy when you see free headphones. And the phone itself. Design wise, the phone is clean, stylish. You can notice aluminium corpus, thin and big. This is blue, it's available in three colors. Copper, this is called tempered blue color and black. Very beautiful phone guys, I actually like it. I mean, it looks pretty stylish and classy, honestly. Looking at the periphery of the device here, we can notice that it has dual SIM. I'll show you now, guys, by opening it. Here. It's not hybrid, you can use two cards and you have micro SD slot at the same time, which makes it far more easier. Here you put one card here and one card here. And you have the micro SD slot here, exactly next to it. More than the periphery, you have the volume controlling buttons here. The on and off button. And the charging port plus the speaker. Maybe that's the only thing I don't like about this phone is the speaker. It's only one and it's very, I don't know, the sound is like blurish. I really don't like it. It doesn't sound good when you speak on the phone on a uh, speaker. And maybe that's the only thing I don't like about this phone. The, fo uh, the phone also has Bluetooth 4.2, two band Wi Fi with 5 Fi Direct and NFC. The connection is very good and strong. And even if you're three rooms away from the router, <laughs> because you know, you just not stay in your room all the time with the, with the router. Here is the moment to mention about the GPS, BTS and GLONASS navigation system. Nokia, as you know, has a good navigation system since long time ago. So it's not surprised that the quality of the navigation is rival to even Garmin. Which, you know, Garmin is a brand in navigations. The display, it's 5.5 inch, 2160 on 1080 pixels. It's Corning Gorilla Glass for scratch protection, wide and clear, perfect to watch videos and gaming. It has different features like blue light reduction at good brightness range, which makes it perfect. Now let me, I'll apply my pin here so I can show you how nice it is. Okay. Hardware wise, we have eight core processor, four Cortex IA53 with 2 GHz and 4 Cortex A53 with 1 to 1.2 GHz. The idea of this separation is maximum battery consumption saving and no reduction in the speed. Normally the phone works with the 
1.2 gigahertz cores but when you put some demanding tasks like gaming for example you open some demanding game like asphalt 8 you get the four cores the other four cores kick in in addition to the cores there is a graphic processor mali i don't know exactly remember the parameters of it which gives you the freedom to play demanding games like Asphalt 8 Airborne, which is, you know, that game is pretty majestic. Like with the cars and... Mm, completely smooth. The RAM and integrated memory come in two options. 2 on 16, that means 2, uh, 2 GB on 16 GB and 3 on 32. 3 GB on 32 GB. This phone is 3 on 32. Of course, as I said, there is a micro SD slot where you can put additional memory up to 256 GB. Here it is. The battery is lithium-ion battery, 2790 hours per charge. So I tried, if you don't use the phone all the time, like you know people nowadays are staying with the phone all the times, if you don't use it all the time, you give let's just say it, you use it for or five hours a day it can go up to two days with one charge you know Nokia are very famous with their battery life since when I was little I was using my Nokia phone with the buttons and I, I was charging it once a week and I was saying yes I can live up with this phone forever they were actually forever I tried to I, I, I went into the seventh floor and the with the phone I did like and it, it survived it survived. By the way, about the speed charger, one hour and forty-five minutes are enough for one uh, hundred uh, for zero to hundred percent charging. Now, about what a lot of people care about the camera quality in the smartphone because you know you gotta make cool selfies. That's why I will tell you the first the operation system and afterwards about the camera. The operation system Android eight point zero Oreo mm, biscuit with Android One user interface. The menu is simplified and there are some very handy gadgets here. For example, nearby function. From here you can choose a ne the nearby function function from the upper menu. And this uh, nearby function gives you for everything within 60 meters, shops and coffee places. About the camera. Main back camera is 16 megapixel sensor in good light condition. We have perfect quality and realistic colors when we make photo with it. For the night picture, there is dual flash white with 3 meters illumination diapason. About the videos, the maximum quality is full HD. The front camera for selfies is 8 megapixel, which is, I, I will say, perfect. You know how many phones give you such a good front camera and for this price? Also, the surprise extra we have on the front camera is the smoothening mold, which makes your skin look flawless on selfies. You know, you don't need anymore to use these uh, apps, girls, to make up your photos. You have this phone, it does it immediately for you. Phone you then immediately. I can say that for this price, this phone is perfect. It runs smoothly in every situation. It doesn't lag. It it has pretty good camera. It has... Ah, I forgot to mention about the fingerprint here. Below the camera you can see your fingerprint which is very, very... Uh, check. You touch it and it immediately catches your finger. Very good it is. The, basically, about, I will show you now the menu, how it looks. Let me increase the brightness to the maximum. very simplified interface I would say nothing additional except if you want to put of course your applications here you put and the camera I'll make self now and now I, I will show it to you guys What a nice quality selfie, I would say. 
I really, really, really like this phone. It's affordable, it's cheap, and it's very good alternative for second phone because everybody needs two phones. Now I will make one photo with the back camera so I can show you how realistic the colors look. Let's see. Very nice. I really like this phone. It, it looks so luxurious and you can say it's just a cheap smartphone. Everything is made very nicely and detailed on it. The operation system is very good. It maybe it's not the most girly color, but in the shop they didn't have the copper one. The copper one looks really beautiful, girls. I mean, it's look. I don't even know. It looks like goldenish even. It looks very nice. As you see, the selfie mode I wanted to show you, and the nearby option. So you would have it additionally. Here you have the effect retouche option. It's called. Now I will show you. I'll make a selfie with it. Here guys, I made it. It looks pretty retouche. And that's what about it, this review guys. Thank you for watching me. Hit up the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and wait much more from me because this is not the first and the last review for review we do. Hopefully, very hopefully we will get the new Samsung phone and we will make a review about it also. Thank you for watching me.